when when you decided to give it all you had so let's say i'm not sure we'll see we'll say you finished your internship right mm -hmm. when did you say okay i've gathered enough information to now do this on my own and what were the steps that you took to to make that leap yeah so it actually happened pretty fast i like to say that um god gave me success really early on because of the type of person i am like i need to know that something works if it doesn't work i'm out like it's just like it's not something it's something where i need to know i have to have something strong there and what actually happened i think it was like maybe three or four months into the internship we started out at 436 i know the exact numbers we started at 436 followers and by the time uh six months in we were already at 10k and that is like now that was back in the day that was back in the day we know how like that you know how the algorithm works and there's just a lot of there's a lot of nuanced things that go on in, in uh, on instagram that make it so that may not be possible now but at the time um, with the skills that I had, that's what I was able to do. And um, the person that I was working for, because she had such a big platform, she told her friends. So she told her influencer friends, her influencer friends hired me. And then all of a sudden I had a business. And mm -hmm. um, I don't even know that I actually made a decision to go all in until probably two years into it, because for a while I was still seeing it as just a thing I was doing on the side. I didn't really see it as a business. I wasn't operating as a business. I was Googling stuff to figure out, like, what do I do? Um, people would ask me, I'll never forget. Someone was like, do you do ROI reports? And I was like, yes, I do. <laughs> and then I had to like Google it afterwards and be like, what is the ROI report? And so I, I tell people I've used like every single social media management platform like possible because I was trying to figure out like what works and what didn't. So when I finally gave my all, I think that was pro when I f hired my first person to help me um, because I knew that it was like overwhelming. And that's when I was like, wait, this is that. This is a business. This is the agency. And so you need to start like kind of acting like that. And it's not just like a side hustle or like a gig. This is a real thing mm -hmm. that can make you real money. It has made your own money so like it's time to like go a little bit step uh, a step further which is me getting like a website I had like a landing page it was like work with me and that was it so like getting a website you know talking to people about what I did instead of just sitting in the corner those are the, that's when I decided to go in you said something key which is something that our people do so often that we don't value our talents Mm. And we keep seeing things as side hustles and making a little piece of money here and there. And we don't validate ourselves with being able to say, oh, yeah, I am a business owner or, yeah, I'm yeah. an entrepreneur and things of that nature. So I, yeah, when when you said I, I'm captain side hustle, mm. <laughs> you know, I've done everything yeah. from braiding hair to, you know, photography, videography and the course that we took like that, you know, that took a lot of work for both yeah, of us. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? To to be able to be like, you know, to claim the authority that we have and the skills that we've attained over the years um, right. to be able to, to, to get compensated properly for it. So right. big ups to you on that. Yeah, thank you. I'm blessed. I always say I I didn't have a path, but I kind of made one. Because, you know, when you go to business school or if you go, you know, through a program, you have like a clear path forward. And it was just like so many zigzags. Like even now, you know, I'm still kind of because I did not go all in until year two. There's still things foundationally that I'm working on now going into year five that I had to like kind of double back and look at. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>